Hi, my name is Rich Edelman and I'm here to talk to you about Goldilocks and system performance modeling. Our goal in this paper is to build a system, create stimulus, and monitor the bandwidth down here at a slave and keep that bandwidth constant. So we're looking to um, keep it about 300 megabytes per second out of the 400 megabytes that are available. Uh, we built a AXI-like system. We have delay models here, just like AXI might have. And we can randomize those delays and create um, transactions that span um, a certain amount of time. We've, did, we've done the math, and if we want to get 300 megabytes per second, we need 341 clocks. So we have some constraints and some knobs down here. We can randomize the transaction delays and then feed those into the model, and uh, we'll achieve our goal. Now, um, one of the things we found out is that as we, as we provide more and more stimulus, as we provide more and more threads, um, the, um, the bandwidth on the slave can drop if there's a lot of slow traffic. And so this monitor is going to feed back to the traffic generators, and it's going to raise the speed or lower the speed based on uh, how we're doing down here. So with, uh, with our model here, we have uh, System Verilog test, UVM test, and uh, we provide the number of threads that we want to run. Uh, in, in the case uh, for the example, I think we ran 16. And uh, we're going to start those sequences running. And, um, and then as simulation runs, this monitor will feed back and adjust their, either adjust the transaction delay or adjust the arrival rate. Down in this uh, sequence down here, you can see we do a write and then a read. We're going to check the results to make sure that the, write, the read matches the write. We do a randomize on the delays and with some constraints to do a certain number of beats. Um, and uh, so this system is in place. It's been working. Uh, we worked with a customer um, to, to build this thing. And we, we probably have some uh, modifications we're going to make. We're going to change uh, some of the model of the way the beats are done and some other improvements. Other than that, I think that uh, really it's just an exercise in System Verilog. We have some, um, some ways that we're using. We simplified the delay model. We have uh, associative arrays and uh, lookup by name for the beat delays, uh, for the regular delays. What we, what we learned from this system is that the, the, the delay in the transaction is not the most important part. It's the arrival rate on the agents. Um, and that's one of the things that we're going to look at is how to control this delay a little bit more um, so that we can get a better result from the transaction delay. Thank you very much.